Hello, this is Brian Casey from The Imaging Wire. We are here at RSNA 2024, and we are here with Robert Laritzen. He is CEO of Cerebru. Robert, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you, Brian, for having this interview. You bet. So can you tell us a little bit about Cerebru and uh, what you guys do? Yeah, sure. Uh, so Cerebru is a radiology AI company that specializes in workflow automation for MRI systems. Mm -hmm. We've started with brain MRI. We have a value proposition during acquisition of the brain MRI where we Early on with our smart priority detect uh, critical findings and can notify uh, immediately the point of care that the patient has a critical finding and we have the ability to also during acquisition enable the tech as a companion to adapt the protocol based on those critical findings uh, to ensure first time right imaging and then post processing or after the imaging have done we have smart reading to enable sort of a better uh, workless prioritization I think uh, that part of it is also uh, super uh, important to ensure that we have a safe reading backlog where we see in the U.S. nationwide uh, increase of uh, time between time to scan and, and then to read uh, from days or hours to days to weeks, which of course is increasing liability and, and increasing anxiety with the healthcare yeah. professionals. Yeah. And, yeah. So your product is something that can alert the, the MRI technologist in real time that, that maybe uh, protocols need to be adjusted a little bit for the patient? Exactly. So if the patient is, uh, has a you know, non-specific headache, uh, comes in and, and it, you know, there's an actual tumor and you're doing a non-contrast uh, routine brain MRI, you would want to not wait for three weeks for a recall to do a brain MRI with a tumor protocol. So the, we're enabling here the tech, um, the ability to, uh, to contact and get support and, and approval for running a tumor protocol immediately while the pa patient's on the table. Oh, that sounds like it could be really impactful. So what, what are some of the, the milestones that the company has seen this year? So in 24, we have, uh, besides close to Series A round, we have started uh, the first uh, clinical deployments in Europe, in the Middle East, uh, in Israel, and uh, India. Uh, and uh, we have completed our pivotal study for the FDA clearance uh, with uh, a large leading institution over here on uh, this side of the pond. And, um, and we have been wrapping up our sort of large OEM strategic partnership and, and the product uh, prepare, preparation for launch early next year. Okay. And um, do you plan to sell these products directly or do you have relationships with other companies as well? So we do some direct sales, but we're actually focusing a lot on the AI uh, platforms for distribution of smart reading. So we do have this safe backlog concept is not necessarily on the device. Uh, and uh, and for the uh, on-device stuff, we are partnering with the OEMs. Okay, very good. What are you highlighting here at RSNA? So we're highlighting uh, the safe backlog, reading backlog, as one of the sort of easy to start value propositions. Uh, it's definitely a problem in Europe. It's definitely a problem in the U.S. And we see it at growing volumes all over the place. Uh, neuroimaging uh, escal uh, you know, escalating uh, out of bounds. So this is the the main storyline of the the smart reading product. Yeah. Okay. Very good. And what can we expect to see from Cerebru in uh, 2025? So besides uh, a major launch early in the year around ECR, uh, we will be uh, disclosing some of the coming uh, contrast media technology uh, and the partnerships with, uh, with Cure and Deep Sea. With Cure, we're doing a stroke focus, comprehensive uh, suite of uh, technologies with their CT and our MRI technology where we are uh, moving from our current detection software for, for uh, uh, you know, better uh, improved length of stay, also to, uh, to move towards an end development with quantification of, uh, of stroke so that we can improve the clinical decision support for treatment of uh, stroke patients like thrombolysis treatment and yep. thrombectomy treatment. Um, this is this is what's going to be new next year. All right, very good. A lot, lot to look forward to. Well, Robert Loretzen of Cerebru, thanks for being with us. <laughs> Welcome, Brian. All right, good to see you. Signing off from RSNA, my name is Brian Casey for The Imaging Wire. <laughs>